Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from ThinkETL. In this video, let us understand what are maplets in Informatica Cloud. Let us start by understanding its definition. A maplet is a reusable object that consists of a set of transformations which can be used across mappings to transform data before it is loaded into your target. Maplets are basically reusable transformations which can be used across mappings. Generally in our projects, right, we come across scenarios where a certain business logic or rule we commonly apply across a set of mappings. Instead of we building this logic every time for each mapping, we could encapsulate this entire logic into a maplet and use this maplet across the mappings. So let us start this maplet's implementation with a simple example, right? So I have a mapping open where I am simply reading a source data and removing duplicates. So let us understand the data quickly. So my source is an employee's file which consists of three fields, employee ID, name and salary. Then I'm sorting the data based on employee ID. And then using the Informatica standard logic to remove duplicates, I'm trying to remove the duplicates where I'm comparing the current record with previous record. And if both are matching, I'm flagging it as one, else zero. So any record with flag as one uh, is a duplicate record. And any record with flag as zero is a unique record. So once I'm identifying the duplicate record, I'm filtering out uh, using a filter transformation, wherein the filter logic is O flag equal to zero, which means only the unique records will pass to the target. So let's quickly check the data uh, using the preview function, uh, how the data would be converted using this logic. So run preview. Okay, this is great. Our preview is finished. Uh, as you can see, there are eight records in the source and there are uh, duplicates for employee ID 100, 101 and 102. And all the duplicate records are flagged as one. So we are only taking the records with flag as zero. So only the unique records flow into the target. So uh, this is good. But my another requirement uh, is to load the department's data where there are duplicates in the department table as well. So in that case, I have to compare again the department ID with the previous record department ID and identify duplicates. Uh, and this is a repetitive process for each table, right? Wherein I have to do this logic uh, multiple times where I compare my primary key of the uh, source data with previous record and to identify the duplicates. Instead, what we can do is build a maplet which does this job for us and finally gives the output flag indicating whether the record which we pass to the maplet is a unique record or a duplicate record. So let us start by building a maplet. Click new, go to maplets, select maplet, click create. The maplets are basically similar to mappings except there is an input and output. So the input transformation here is used to take the data from upstream transformation of your mapping and output transformation is basically to provide the data to the downstream transformations of your mapping. So when you use this maplet within your mapping, this is the one which receives the input from your mapping and this is the one which gives the output to your mapping. I hope that is clear. So our use case is to implement this expression logic into the maplet. So I'll simply copy this, go to my maplet, paste it here. So let's connect the expression transformation. Okay, so in my input, first I need to create an input field which receives the input from the mapping. So let me call it input underscore uh, primary key. Let's keep the precision as 100. So this is the field which is used to receive the input from your mapping. So in the expression, let me remove this default value. Let us first do something here, okay? Instead of v employee ID, let us call it v primary key. So we are basically replacing all the employee fields with the input fields which we created, okay? So to make it more generic because the primary keys are the keys which we usually use to uh, identify the duplicate. So I named it as primary key. So we created a variable field which would read our input field. 
then I'm comparing my input field with the previous field and if they are both and I'm just mapping flagging it as one else the value would be zero so it's the same logic which is which we have seen in the previous one and finally in the output transformation these are the input fields which we are getting we have to create an output field let's call it output underscore flag let's call it integer So what we want to send as an output is the flag value, output flag. Let's save it. So let's take a moment to understand what we have done here. In the input transformation, we have created an input field, uh, which should usually uh, used to uh, take the data from the upstream transformation. So basically, if it is an employee table, I would map the employee ID to this input primary key field. In the expression, it's general logic which we apply to identify the duplicates and flag it. And finally, the output I am expecting is the flag value based on which I want to filter out my records. So I create an output field called output flag and map the value which I calculated in the expression to the output field I created here. So let's save it again. Let's also rename it. Let's go to our mapping again. Let's take a copy of this mapping. So let us remove this expression transformation now. And let's add a maplet transformation to the mapping canvas. So first we need to select the maplet so my maplet is in the project folder let me add it okay once you add it the input stream is activated so you can map the input stream and also map the output so the incoming fields are the fields which are coming from the source basically our employee ID name and salary in the maplet we have already selected and we have to do the field mapping where I wanted to use the employee ID to identify duplicates so I'll simply map the employee ID so there are no parameters defined and my output is an output flag so I can come to filter here I just have to change this value output flag validate it so if you observe the only output which is coming from the maplet is output flag because it takes the input it gives the output but we also want all the source fields coming from source to flow towards target so what we can do we can also map this to filter transformation so that we have all the incoming fields plus the output flag So that's it. You can simply use this maplet anywhere in any mapping where you wanted to identify the duplicates and this maplet simply gives you the output flag indicating whether the uh, record is uh, duplicate or not. You just have to make sure to sort the data based on the field on which you want to identify the duplicates. That's it. So uh, this is the use case of maplet. So let's understand a few other things about the maplets. Let me go to the blog post again. Let us understand about the maplet input and output more. So instead of an uh, input transformation, you could also use a source transformation. So basically you can add any source uh, into the maplet and use it across the mappings. So when you use only a source transformation in the maplet, the maplet should be the first one which you are using in the map mapping. So in this case, uh, if I'm using only the source transformation here, so in my mapping, the maplet should be the first one because the source reads the data and you do some calculations within your maplet and the rest of the flow follows. Similarly, coming to the maplet output, you could also use a target transformations to write the data to a target. And when you use only a target transformation without no output transformation, in such cases, the maplet should be the last object in your mapping pipeline. Okay, so a maplet must contain at least one output transformation or a target transformation 
Similarly, a applet must contain at least one input transformation or source transformation. So if you don't have an input and if you don't have a output, that basically becomes a mapping, right? So keep that in mind. You could use source transformation, target transformation, input, output, and in a combination of both. Uh, you can find all the data which we have discussed in the blog post here. So steps to create the maplet, what is the maplet transformation, how the maplet transformation is, could be an either active or passive, and what is the condition that defines that. In the same demonstration which we have discussed is all in the written format with all the screenshots for you to go through again easily and how to use it. So that's it. Uh, that's it in this video. Uh, I hope this is informative. Uh, so please do like, share and subscribe. Please also follow us on Instagram. So where we have curated content on Informatica Cloud which you will definitely like it. Also uh, we have a LinkedIn page and we also have a whatsapp channel where we aggregate all the different posts from different communities so you can subscribe to the whatsapp channel as well i'll provide all the links in the description page that's it in this video i'll see you in the next one thank you cheers